I bought every Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery product at Walmart. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I have a bunch of mystery products that were bought from a Walmart by a viewer and then sent to me. So he went to a Walmart out in the outskirts that he says nobody ever goes to. So he went out there and he showed me what they had and he was like, do you want anything? I was like, get me those mystery products. So he bought all five of the mystery products that were available. He also sent us a note. What is this? Let's see what he sent in here. Rux, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to help supply some material for future content. No, thank you for sending this to me. This was awesome. You truly are an amazing content creator and the daily uploads have become part of my day glad to hear that so thank you for those there is a card in here for a future giveaway as always keep being awesome Yu-Gi-Oh fella on ig or dale irl so dale thanks again for getting all this stuff for this video it's going to be a fun one so dale sent a giveaway which is a dd crow first edition from raw yellow mega pack pretty nice card i also had another card that i was going to give away a moderately played starter deck yugi dark magician so both of these will be in the giveaway all you have to do is like this video be subscribed and let me know what you want to see from this mystery boxes there's a lot of potential awesome stuff this video was sponsored by magic spoon man i'm getting hungry i wonder what i can get this late at night pizza that's kind of unhealthy i wonder if there's any other oh magic spoon grain free cereal i don't know about you guys but i often get hungry late at night and there's nothing to eat i have to order some pizza or eat some sort of unhealthy leftovers or something like that i don't feel like making something that's healthy Magic Spoon has changed everything. Magic Spoon has 0 grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only 4 net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-friendly, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. This allows me to eat a tasty meal or snack before I go to bed. My midnight snacks have been upgraded with my favorite flavors of peanut butter and frosted. Oh, that's so good. You can also build your own variety box, which allows you to choose from the best-selling flavors such as cocoa, fruity frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry and cinnamon, plus the newly reformulated honey nut flavor that will now be added to the Magic Spoon permanent collection. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that they are backed with a 100% guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, just return it for a full refund. So click the link below and use code RUXIN5 to get $5 off or use magspoon.com slash RUXIN5 to get $5 off your order and be sure to add the honey nut flavor to your new custom box. Also for my Canadian and British fans, Magic Spoon is now available there as well. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring the video and now let's get back to it. Okay, we have five different mystery products today. Let's start off with the Power Cube because we have three of these and we have two of the Monster Boxes. The Monster Boxes have actually been really good to us in terms of like the mystery products. The Power Cubes have not. So let's see if the Power Cubes can step it up and redeem them themselves today i always really enjoy opening these because even though you kind of know what to expect you don't really know like anything can really happen in here and hopefully today will be the day we actually get a good random card i doubt it but we'll see let's see what the packs are we have invasion of chaos and pharaoh servant that's nice two legacy packs and one more which is a lob so we got three legacy packs that's actually amazing one legacy pack and two booster packs so we're only supposed to get one and we got three so that's a good start to this video okay we have seen these a lot so let's see if we can just run through these and see if anything is decent so what is this is this speed duel yes yeah, speed duel stuff okay so we, we, if you guys didn't see that speed duel video about the newest release go check it out because actually a pretty cool product i think so maybe that'll help speed duel a little bit because it definitely needs it we have king we have super quantum crossover so so far it's all rares and commons which is expected so that's all we got there not too exciting but now we have the packs these are exciting actually these are very exciting packs so let's see if we can pull something awesome i'm pretty excited about this Whew, come on okay wait come in there we go okay here we go one two three four let's see if we can pull the epic genzo it's been a long time since we pulled the genzo so we have major riot deep sea warrior by the way i i just got back the email saying that my PSA sub from a bulk sub, 280 cards, is done. So you guys will be seeing a very long PSA return probably after this video, like in a couple of days. So hopefully it comes back ASAP and we can do that opening. I'm pretty excited for that. And definitely a lot of them will be for sale as well. Oh, sale. Oh, I'm dying. Okay. Uh, Harpy Brother. All right. So we started off with nothing. Um, unfortunate. All right. Next pack. Slow start, but some good packs. So hopefully we'll at least get a foil out of these three. That's not ratio. I mean, technically it's like one every four-ish. So we'll see if we actually can. We have Ojama, Delta Hurricane. Maju, good card, even though it's just got reprinted. Griffin's Feather Duster, Big Koala, DD Borderline, Burning Algae. Stealth Bird, good card. Curse of Darkness. And a Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. So double darkness there. Now we have the Legend of Blue Eyes. Bless us with a light monster. 3,000. 2,500 defense. <sighs> Invincible. Mini. No one has 
few have met is it few or none have met this creature and live to tell the tale sparks we got a flame manipulator dark world thorns ray and temperature the king of fog Mizarazame, yame oh there's not the yame okay forest spirit of the harp and try horn dragon secret rare out of the first mystery cube okay you guys are gonna have to let me know which mystery product does the best like individually like mystery cube number one versus mystery cube number three etc so in this one we got try horn and a manju so not a bad little cube there for only having three packs and a bunch of garbage comments now let's move on to the monster box this is gonna be a longer opening because there is a a lot of packs between two monster boxes and three cubes because in here there's like 10 packs i think so we got 20 packs there nine total packs in the three cubes plus the bonus card so we're looking at a fairly long opening let's start off with the first one we have these are all usually good packs sirenic horizon i think is usually one of the more boring ones so let's get it out of the way that's nice you can still pull that boral sword right that's this set i feel like it is uh we always pull it and i'm pretty sure it's out of this set now i'm forgetting for some reason crusadia reclusia ruin angel of oblivion the World Legacy's Mind, the Dragoonity Legion, Crusadia Araboria, the Restoration Point, gu point Guard. Play some basketball. Dragoonity sent us, okay, and the Crossbreed. So no foil there. Well, a super rare, but that's guaranteed. Next pack. I really love these monster boxes. They're one of my favorites. Breakers of Shadow. And it's probably just because they have a nice variety from like 2014 to 2017. And that's really cool at this point because it's hard to find that kind of stuff these days. Here we go. We have a uh, Buster, Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, the Shiranui Samurai, cool cards, Chaporum Pal Trump Girl, Despot 008, the Blackwing Harmaton the Dust, Twilight Ninja, the Dark Doriado, Cosmo Tin Can, we have an Ultra Rare and a High Speed Roid Hagoshia. Okay, Cosmo Tin Can is an Ultra Rare. That is our first one. We will take that. Okay. Monster Box. It's going to be tough to beat the Monster Box as a cube because they have so many more packs. It's Shining Victories. And they also cost a little bit more, I think. There might be like. 33% more. They're like 30 bucks, I think. Or at least original retail value is what I'm talking about. Okay. Secret rare. Can we get uh, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon? The Kaiju Files. Dwarf Star. There's a lot of good Kaijus in here, I think, as well. Or a couple. Raid Raptor Avenge Vulture. The Digital Bug. Digital Bug. Raid Raptor Pain Lanius. I think it's the next one. And a more fades leechery, another ultra rare, and a spirit of the fall wind. It feels like we always pull a lot of foils out of these monstery boxes. Monstery boxes? Next one. Uh-oh. No spoilers. No spoilers over there. Flames of Destruction. I've never pulled a big card out of Flames of Destruction. Like, I'm talking Imperm or Ghost Bell. I've never pulled either of those. I have pulled a lot of the Nightmare stuff, which is always really good to pull. So, Also, uh, Call by the Grave. I never pulled that. It's a common. I've never pulled it. So I well, I have pulled it, but it's been a long time. Background, the Trick Star, the Mech Knight Avram, Shadal Construct. Rainbow Refraction, that's a super. And we got an F.A. Don Dragster and the Yajiro. Okay, all right. We're going to get that call by the grave eventually. Oh, and now we have another L.O.B. So in this video, we have pulled a Trihorn Dragon. So can we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon? I'm down. Or a Gaia. Can we just pull the other Seeker Rare? I'm down for that as well. Let's see if we can do it. Out of the monster box. So, so far, L.O.B. Has been, has been good to us. Legendary Sword, the M. Warrior number one. Remove Trap. Dissolve Rock. Red Medicine. The 13th Grav. The Mizurizame. Will it be Yame? No, it's a Flower Wolf. And the Root Water. All right. That's not a Trihorn Dragon. Next pack out of the mod. There's so many packs in here, it feels like. We have the Dark Saviors. A lot of good cards in here, I feel like. We've had good luck. We pulled like the Widow Anchor, I think, last time. That was incredible. Okay, I think they're usually at the front. We're going to do that. Mystic Tomato. Yeah, we pulled that last time. Rhoda, another good card. Wow. The Vampire Familiar. Oh, and there it is. It's the training for hire for all your training needs. That's hilarious. And the aerospace. Very nice. We have... Oh, a fusion enforcers. You love to see this. Let's see. Can we get those invoked cards? All right. So what we're going to do is, if it's actually in the back, we're just going to go like this so that it ends up at the back if it's at the back. Refusion. Fry for Wolf. The Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. This is a nice print of this. Super rare. Okay. Oh, and an Invocation Secret Rare. This card used to be really expensive. I don't know if it still is because there's the gold version, but people don't like the gold version. So this is a very good pull. Invocation, speaking of those invoked cards, we just pulled the Secret Rare. That's so pretty. Wow, Secret Rare. I'm guessing it's still, it still has a few dollar value at least. This has been a good monster box so far. It's going to be tough to beat this. Duelist Alliance. Now, can we pull something amazing out of here? I don't... We did open 100 packs of this once. We didn't get the Ghost Rare, but I think we got the Ultimate Rare cover card and stuff like that. There was some good stuff. Resonance Insect, good card. Pilgrim Reaper. The Performal Pal Skeeter Skimmer. The Recover. Battery Man, 9 Volt. 
Stellar, Stellar Knight, Ono Lukai. That's not how you say that. Draco Sentient. Face Off and Curse of the Shadow Prison. So nothing in that one, but we've been on fire. So it makes sense. We finally missed something. What is, I think we maybe have one pack left. Is there one pack? It is. Oh, the Maximum Crisis. So I think this might be the newest pack in here. No, Dark Saviors, maybe. Okay. Ash Blossom. Enjoy spring. Let's do this. Ash Blossom is an expensive card still. There's the rare. Okay. That doesn't matter, though. Dino Miss Talling. The Phantom Knights of Wrong Wrong Magnet Ring? What in the world? Predator Plant Cordyceps. Primal Cry. Artifact Vajra. The Phantom Knights of Lost Vambrace. And the Pendulum Mucho. It's always this card. Every time we get these crazy penguins. We almost messed up again and left another pack, which was another LOB pack. That's insane. Another LOB pack. Double LOB. This is, this is good. We've opened three LOB in this video already. Let's see if we can pull another crazy card. So, uh, yeah. Let's do this. Wasteland. Armail. Dark Gray. Power of Kaishin. Spike Seedra. The Laser Cannon Armor. Turtle Tigre. Fijar. And we have a Drooling Lizard. No, not a Drooling Lizard. That was a pretty nice one on number two. We still have three more products. This is going to be a very long video. That's all I know. Which, sometimes it's fun to have those long videos, personally. I like it. What did we get in here? Did we get anything good? I highly doubt it. These Are these all from, like, Toon Chaos? Yeah, these aren't even rare. These are just rares that are commons. They're technically rares, but they only have rares as commons in uh Toon chaos so that's not great it looks like none of this is very good we got some uas all right that's fun the uh, perform age hat tricker used to be worth something i'll check on that and see if it is beast king barbaros and okay all right so some great commons there now we're on to the packs we have duelist alliance that's cool invasion of chaos and mega 10 2017 or mega pack that is uh yeah that's a good it's a good trio of packs i'll take that let's see what we can pull here can we pull something epic Let's go with the massive morph. That's a Dual Links card if I've ever seen one. All right, Symphonic Warrior. We got the Paleozoic, Dice Clops, Crimstrawn Entry, the Digital Bug Core, the Digital Bug Core Beige, Core Beige, the Digital Bug Core. I don't know what's going on. PK La. Oh, Magician's Rod. I love this card. It's super pretty. That's a nice card. I think it's actually worth a little bit. The Dimension Barrier Seeker. I don't know about that one. And Metafoles Metherium. And the Sayo the Rainhider. So that's not bad. Can't, whoa! King Scarlet! He made it! He's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I didn't know this. Let's go Duelist Alliance 2014. Can we pull a Ghost Rare out of an unlimited Duelist Alliance? That would be incredible. I think I do need that Ghost Rare for my collection. Feast of the Wild. Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. That six. Should all Hedgehog. Nice card. Draco Sentient. Stellar Nova Wave. Artifact Lancia. Another nice card. Pendulum back, super, and a Flash Knight. Okay, still a decent pack. And finally, Invasion of Chaos for our third mystery product out of five. Can we pull Chaos Emperor Dragon? Let's do this. Or Blackluster Soldier, the Chopman, Earth Chant, Ojama Delta Hurricane, Hyper Hammerhead, Boganian, Stealth Bird, Soul Tigre, Destruction Ring, and primal seed okay that's not what we're looking for we have two more let's go mystery cube again because i want to save the monster box for the end because that's one of the most fun ones inside of the third cube we have oh it looks like an actual hollow that's exciting okay our extra cards dejin okay that's a super rare we got a gishki that's also a super i mean i'm sure these are from sets where it's like guaranteed oh the sh yeah that is guaranteed secret forces the ojama pink anything else decent d cube the destiny here what are these from they're from the yeah they're from a deck okay the fabled Tilted try, creepy. Uh, Arm dragons. Yeah, so not much going on there in terms of the random cards. Nothing even decent in those today. But that's okay. We got a the Secret Forces pack. IOC and PSV. That's not bad. Let's start off with the Secret Forces. Five cards only, but there is a secret rare guaranteed. Let's see what it is. Ritual Beast Steeds. Spiritual Beast Petalfin. Okay, Ascending Soul. Dijin, there he is, Dijin, he's a super rare. And Necroz Kaleidoscope, secret rare, so I don't think that's too crazy. I think it might be okay. Now onto the Pharaoh Servant. Let's see what we can pull here. Can we pull the Jinzo? Can we pull the Buster Blader? It's been a while since we pulled the Buster Blader. I think we pulled it like once. Gamble, Dark Bad, it took forever. Kisatai, Solemn Weishas, the Gradius, the Bite Shoes, 
Dark Fire Soldier number one, The Appropriate, and Driving Snow. It's like Lord of the Rings when they're on that mountain in Fellowship of the Ring. And the final pack of this mystery cube. Then we go on to our final box. It is Invasion of Chaos. The, I keep opening them, and then they do this, and you just can't open it. <laughs> it is difficult. It is difficult the way they open. They open perfectly wrong, I should say. They're, they're perfectly wrong. Chaos Greed, Torpedo Fish. We got the Crimson Ninja, the Tower of Babel. Hero Emerges, Cannonball Spear Selfish, Soul Tiger. Dark Dash Red, Dry Ceratops, and Pibius Burgoth. Man, those ISC have been whiffing today. The final mystery product, Monster Box. The last one was really good. So if we can follow up that, you know, similarly and do pretty well, then we can be happy about... Well, we're going to already be happy about this opening, but we can be really happy about this opening. So once again, let's do this. Let's see if we can open up some amazing stuff. I think it was another LOB peeking out at us. And it looks like I was correct. A Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Okay, let's do this. We've already pulled a Trihorn. We have opened four of these in this video. That is not bad. We have a Beaver Warrior, Silver Fang. We got the Vile Germs, Petite Angel, Forest, M Warrior number two, a Mammoth Graveyard, Spirit of the Harp, and Book of Secret Arts. Okay, so that Trihorn was really the extent of our LOB, unless we got another double LOB, which I would be surprised. Uh, another Cybernetic Horizon. We keep pulling that one out early in the box, which is interesting. I wonder if they're ordered with the way they put them into the box the same way. Probably if it's like a, you know, a factory or something. Belisa Squad, decent. Divine Serpent. We got the Crusadia Regulix. The Cybernetic Overload, decent. Formal Pal Hand Samurai Ger. The Demise Agent of Armageddon. Crusadia Power. Demise Supreme King of Armageddon. And Danger Jackalope. That's actually a good pull. It got a lot of reprints after this, but or at least a couple. So the original is probably not as valuable. But that's a pretty good card overall. Next up, we still have like eight more packs. Oh, Metal Raiders. So we are getting another double legacy. It seems like there's one guaranteed legacy, and then they tend to put another legacy in as a regular one of the nine. The nine. The nine rings. Okay, here we go. Roaring Ocean Snake. The Pump King. The King of Ghosts. Battle Steer. The Mystic Lamp, Water Amotix, Armored Zombie, the Little Swordsman of Ale, Shadow Ghoul, and German Fax in these legacy packs. They started hot on that first pack, and it has been rough sledding ever since. And now we have Shining Victories. Okay. Shining Victories. Can't, oh. Shining Victories is the set where we pulled the Monster Reborn live. At it, that was from Yugi's Legendary Decks or whatever. And it was like, what in the world is going on? There's a Mausoleum. Luna Light, Beacon of White. World Caraway Champion, the Blackwing Decay of the Ill Will, the Mask of the Mask, the Master with Eyes of Blue, Digital Bug, the Amorphage Goliath, Super Ant. Wait, how did that work? There was a Super, a Common, and then after that was the Rare that I put to the front. That was kind of out of order. Next up, Fusion of Forces. We already got Invocation, so that was pretty amazing. Let's see if we can get a Mechaba now. Let's see if we can do it. Or an Alistair. We have Fusion Conscription, Grisail Prison, Fluffle Owl, Lone Fire Blossom, nice. And the Book of the Law. It is, it is an invoked card. Nobody uses it, though. Will we pull something fire? We have another Flames of Destruction. We're still looking for that called by. We're still looking for Ghost Ogre and Infinite Impermanence. Come on. Let's do this. Give it to us. Inzactor Pika Felina. There's the original print. The Crystal Conclave. The background. Background Dragon. Just such a weird name. Link Streamer. He's a streamer. The World Legacy Corruption. The Element Saber Malo. Tr Tindangle Trinity, Element Saber Lapulia, and the backup operator. I just butchered all those names. Still a few packs to go. This has been a decent one. I think the first monster box was better. We do have Duelist Alliance. If we ever pull a Ghost Rider out of one of these, that's going to be pretty tough to beat. Can we do it this time? Yang Zing Unleashed. Him of Light for Sephira. The Performer Pal Hip Hippo. He's a Hip Hippo. UA Stadium. Performer Pal Swordfish. The Battery Man 9 Volt, the Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler, the Spy C Spy, Shadal Beast, and that's it because there's not a Super in every pack in this one. We have Breakers of Shadow. Go back to the Shadow. A lot of Lord of the Rings references today. I don't know why. It's not like I've watched it recently or something. It's just, I don't know. We have a Fiendish Rhino Warrior. There's the rare. The Performer Pal Bit Bite Bit Bite Turtle. What's up with these weird like Hip Hippo Bit Bite Turtle? Dragon Buster's Destruction Swordsman. Dynamist Rush. Twilight Ninja. Nichiren the Chunin. We got a Dark Doriado. The Performer Pal Rain Goat. Dynamist Stegosaur. 
And the Dharma Eye Magician. Didn't we pull this before? I think we just pulled this, but maybe not. We have a Maximum Crisis. And then we have one more pack. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's one that we've opened before since it seems like they have similar packs. Okay, Ash Blossom. You can do this. You can be in this pack. Subterra Final Battle. Kaiser Sea Snake. Diamond Dustin. Mild Turkey. It's not Thanksgiving, but it looks like it. The Phantasm's Power Wave. Sephra War. Predator Plant. And. Ooh, Metal Tron 12, the true Draco combatant. It's down to this final pack. What will we pull? What is this pack? I don't know. It is Dark Saviors. Okay, we had good luck last time. All right, what can we pull in the final pack of the opening? I don't remember where the secret rare was. Plague Spreader Zombie. Nice. Quick booster. Seal Strategist for Hire for those for Hire decks. Vampire Domination and Armageddon Knight is a nice printing of this as well. So, okay, not a bad pack. If you guys enjoyed this longer mystery box opening, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Anatai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Howl. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.